critical part of the Secret Service mission is protecting our nation's current and former government leaders. The attempted assassination of former President Donald J. Trump on Saturday, July 13th, 2024, in Butler, Pennsylvania, was a failure on multiple levels. Since my appointment as the acting director one week ago, I identified gaps in our security on July 13th and have implemented corrective actions. One of my first actions as acting director was traveling to the Butler Farm Show site to better understand how our protection failed. I went to the roof of the AGR building where the assailant fired shots and I laid in a prone position to evaluate his line of sight. What I saw made me ashamed. As a career law enforcement officer and a 25-year veteran with the Secret Service, I cannot defend why that roof was not better secured. To prevent similar lapses from occurring in the future, I directed our personnel to ensure every event site security plan is thoroughly vetted by multiple experienced supervisors before it is implemented. It is clear to me that other protective enhancements could have strengthened our security at the Butler event. I've heard your calls for accountability, and I take them very seriously. And given the magnitude of this failure, the Secret Service's Office of Professional Responsibility is reviewing the actions and decision-making of Secret Service personnel in the lead-up to and on the day of the attack. If this investigation reveals that Secret Service employees violated agency protocols, those employees will be held accountable to our disciplinary process. But I do not believe that inadequate time to plan for this event was a factor in the failure. As you saw in my written statement, I am prepared to provide an overview of the security planning leading up to and during the July 13th attack. However, I would like to point out that based on what I know right now, neither the Secret Service counter sniper teams nor members of the former president's security detail had any knowledge that there was a man on the roof of the AGR building with a firearm. It is my understanding those personnel were not aware the assailant had a firearm until they heard gunshots. Prior to that, they were operating with the knowledge that local law enforcement was working an issue of a suspicious individual prior to the shots being fired. I regret that information was not passed to Congress and the public sooner with greater frequency. And I fear this lack of information has given rise to multiple false and dangerous conspiracy theories about what took place that day. And I want to debunk these theories. Let me address one conspiracy directly. The Secret Service counter sniper neutralized the assailant within seconds after the assailant fired his weapon. That counter sniper had full discretion to use deadly force to stop an attacker and did not need to seek authorization to fire. And if I may, Senator, if I could point out something uh, right now, if I may, and we will place this for the record, uh, but this is uh, the point of view. This is from the second floor of the AGR building. This point of view is the point of view where the counter sniper team locally was posted. The gold arrow indicates where the shooter fired from. Looking left, why was the assailant not seen? When we were told that building was gonna be covered, that there had been a face-to-face -face that afternoon, that our team leads met This was the view. Let me show you another view, Senator. B. This view is a reenactment by one of my agents laying flat. There was a five inch rise on the middle of that roof. The assailant would have had to present his bore over that to get his shot off. The view underneath reflects the perspective that he would have had. Again, I call your attention back to the first exhibit if they'd have looked left. Give me C.
This is what our counter sniper team saw. Shooter, no elbows. You barely make out the crown of his head. Below it, the assailant up prone. And let me just tell you, our counter sniper, this individual, I know him. I consider him a friend. He has covered me operationally in conflict zones. And when I did my time on the president's detail, he exemplifies the courage, the skill, and the ability to respond under great stress in such short time to neutralize the threat and prevent further loss of life. Getting back to your question, Senator, these were discussions that were had between the Pittsburgh field office, the local counterparts, and everyone supporting that visit that day. And that's why when I laid in that position, I could not, and I will not, and I cannot understand why there was not better coverage or at least somebody looking at that roof line when that's where they were posted. If it's communicated directly to a counter sniper team, would that be enough time to react prior to the firing of those shots? Senator, if we'd had that information, they would have been able to address it more quickly. It appears that that information uh, was stuck or siloed in that state and local channel. I will tell you, though, that there were um, uh, our tactical elements did have not only did they have embeds from Butler County ESU with them, uh, but they also had uh, radios on the tactical net. Um, it, it is troubling to me that we did not get that information as quickly as we should have. Uh, we didn't know that there was this incident going on. Uh, and the only thing we had was that locals were working an issue at the three o'clock, which would have been the former president's right hand side, which is where the shot came. Nothing about man on the roof, nothing about man with a gun. None of that information ever made it over our net. So that will change? Yes, sir. We are working right now to figure out the interoperability and also make sure that we do have access to those channels, whether through the counterpart system or some other means. The person in charge of the entire operation is the Secret Service, not the local police. You're correct, sir. This is a failure of the Secret Service. So that's what I mean. And look, I don't wish anybody harm. I, I appreciate the bravery of the Capitol Hill police. I was at the shooting at the ball field. I've, I've heard 100 shots coming my way.